Hey guys, Claudine Lewis, respiratory therapy student. I'm here to go over some vent initiation and checks with y'all. So let's say we have an asthma patient coming into the ER via EMS. She's a 23 year old female um, with uncontrolled asthma and she's having an acute exacerbation. Um, and she's gone so far that her respiratory rate's only 10. So we're going to set up our vent. It's going to be a lot because I don't have everything hooked up like I'm supposed to. So she's five foot six. Her ideal body weight's around 61 kilograms. And so she's breathing 10 times a minute. Let's start um, around 300, what was it, 65, 61. Perfect. Yes, I know. I'm in standby mode. Okay. So, that's setting. And then, SIMB, that'll work. We're going to do our O2 up to 100. Out of volume. We're gonna go to 300. That gives us room to go up as we need to. It's a nice short item. So I'll make it easy. Let's do 0.8. But uh, frequency, she's breathing 10. Let's go. Oh, no, sorry, she's breathing 30 times a minute. I'm going to set my respiratory rate at 10 to get a really long E time. Keep it five. And we're going to try to keep her at two sets above 90, and we're going to start that. Start. Start. So she's been intubated. We're going to verify the placement of the tube. We're going to listen right above the trachea, listen to both lungs, get a chest x-ray, get an ABG um, right when she first comes in. So we see what we're, where we're starting at. Um, so doing the 300 milliliters, I can get a flow of about 22. The Drager does have auto flow, so that's on. Um, we're going to try to keep her S, um, SPO2 above 90. Um, this is not realistic. Let's uh, make this a little more realistic. Boop. Let's look at our alarms. I'll try to make it angry. Um, high airway pressure 40. High tidal volume. Five fifty. That'll work. Have me a time. I need to change it to 15. Put the protocol here. Boop. Trying to make the um, air, the peak pressure go off. There we go. I did successful. Okay. Alarm limits. So she's breathing 30 times a minute. Let's get it to the rule is about 10 over. That's really high. Okay, 35. Ventilation low, mental ventilation is 2.8. Let's make it 3. Two. Perfect. Boop. Actually setting. Perfect. Um, oh, cool. I'll oh, darn it. For a second there, we had a tidal volume of about uh, 298, which is what I was shooting for. Um,
Three eleven. Perfect. Um, so let's see. What did I say? I said ABG, chest X-ray, all that good stuff. Um, we're gonna keep her on this and give time for the bronchodilators, possibly steroids, um, possibly even epinephrine to um, help reverse her acute um, asthma exacerbation. Um, as she does better, we can um, decrease our mandatory ventilation rate. Um, we can decrease the O2 as we need to. Um, my, the pressure support right now is five. That work. <sighs> as weird, it says I'm breathing and I'm not. Um, we'll double check our ET tube, um, make sure there's no leaks around here. Write down all of the pertinent information, all of the readings off of the screen. Um, let's turn my O2 down to 80. Eek. 80. Eighty-five. That'll work. Um, that is odd. Okay. Uh, mean airway pressure six. That's not bad. Um, the concern gets fake line. Uh, resistance is around eight. Compliance is thirty-three. Uh, other volume three hundred six. That'll work. And it shows just underneath that my high is 550. My high air peak pressure is 40. I can actually turn that down. Okay, so that would be setting up an asthma patient um, and documenting everything in the chart that we need to. Um, here they do it on. <coughs> here it goes. Um, it, uh, it's all in a chart. Um, in the computer, which I did not think to like take a picture of or something, so that would give me a nice guideline of what to write down. Um, but you would write down your high and low alarms, your actual versus what you have set um, in whichever place is appropriate. Um, the high CO2 is 60, low is 30. Right now it's zero because I don't have one on there. Um, additional settings. Flow trigger is 1.9. Let's change it. Let's make the trigger one. Let's make it easy. Nice. Okay. Perfect. And that's funny because I'm not doing anything and it, it's showing like some spontaneous breaths in there and I'm not sure why. So that would be initiating an asthma patient. <clears throat> nice. All right. Thank you all so much.